Dr. Callista Neutrino's knees buckled as she crossed the threshold into the alien vessel's grand reception chamber. The ship's artificial gravity pulled at her with 1.3 times Earth's force, compressing her spine and straining her muscles. She wiped a trickle of blood from her lips where she'd bitten them. Callista steadied herself and inhaled carefully. The alien atmosphere burned in her lungs as she struggled to regulate her breathing. Synthetic tissue formed the chamber walls, pulsing with light in ever-shifting patterns that responded to Callista's movements. In the center stood her welcoming committee. Six thick, jointed limbs supported the alien's bulbous central mass. Each limb split at the end into three dexterous appendages, more hand-like than foot-like. Dozens of slender, translucent tendrils emerged from between armored plates on the central body, waving continuously. Where a head should be, five sensor-like things on stalks probed independently, each ending in a glassy orb of a different color. Apologies, doctor, chirped the translator at her hip. Our data on human physiology was incomplete. Callista focused her attention and braced herself against the damp wall. Her heart raced. This encounter would shape humanity's future. A misstep could ignite interstellar conflict or deny Earth access to the alien tech. I'll adapt, she said, forcing a smile. Shall we proceed with the scientific exchange? The alien's form shimmered, rearranging its sensory organs to focus on her. Two bioluminescent patches, perhaps analogous to eyes, fixed upon her with unsettling intensity. Indeed, he replied, his voice a complex series of harmonics. We are most curious about your species' cognitive and physiological processes. Callista's vision blurred. She did a long, slow blink, trying to refocus. I'm experiencing some unusual responses, she said, her voice unsteady. The alien skin pulsed with rapid color changes. Fascinating. Your neural activity and body temperature are increasing in response to our presence. Is this a typical physiological reaction for your species? Callista's skin flushed and her muscles tensed slightly. Electromagnetic fields, she recalled from the briefings. It's not typical, she said. Our differing biologies might be interacting in ways we didn't anticipate. The alien advanced, its tendrils rippling. This presents a unique opportunity for data exchange. Would you be amenable to a more comprehensive form of information sharing? Callista weighed the implications. Earth's future, scientific breakthroughs, years of preparation. She forced a professional tone. What exactly do you propose? The alien extended a tendril, its colors pulsing rapidly. I propose a synaptic fusion interface, a temporary linking of our cognitive processes to facilitate rapid data transfer. Be advised, the neurological stimulation may induce sensory overload and temporary disorientation. Callista hesitated, weighing potential risks against scientific value. Are there dangers I should be aware of? The process carries some risk, the alien admitted. Our neurologies differ vastly. However, our simulations suggest a high probability of successful information exchange with minimal adverse effects. Callista fell silent for a moment, then smiled and stepped forward. For science, she said, let's proceed. The alien's tendril brushed Callista's temple. Her neural pathways lit up, synapses firing in unprecedented patterns, sending vibrations through her body. Her muscles tensed and relaxed in rapid succession. Oh, God, she gasped. Stellar life cycles played out before her, galaxies coalescing and dispersing in moments. Equations flickered through her mind, quantum mechanics, and general relativity intertwining in an elegant dance, a hum built, growing until her bones vibrated with the frequency. 
Each new sensation sparked a chain reaction, revelations blooming like supernovas. Callista involuntarily shifted to quick, shallow breaths. Sweat trickled down her spine as waves of sensation washed over her, each more intense than the last. She clenched her fists. The alien presence enveloped her, vast and ancient, guiding her through the maelstrom of information. Callista trembled, torn between the urge to pull away and the desperate desire to delve deeper. The flow of information ceased abruptly. Callista became aware of her surroundings again, finding herself on the floor, muscles twitching, sweat soaked. She forced her eyes open, struggling to focus on the alien towering above, its form pulsed with soft, rhythmic light. The exchange was highly productive, it said, extending an appendage to a sister. Callista grasped it, rising on shaky legs. That's an understatement, she replied, trying hard to catch her breath. As her faculties returned, Callista noticed subtle shifts. Her thoughts flowed with unusual clarity. A theorem that had confounded her for months suddenly unraveled in her mind. She flexed her fingers, noting an odd sense of precision. What exactly occurred during our exchange? she asked. We shared knowledge at the most fundamental level, the alien explained. You now carry seeds of our understanding within you. We, in turn, have gained insights into your species that no amount of conventional observation could have provided. The physical sensations you experienced were an unexpected but not unwelcome side effect of our neurological differences. Callista pondered the implications. She had come seeking scientific exchange and peaceful coexistence. Instead, she had become a living bridge between civilizations, carrying the potential for unprecedented breakthroughs. As the alien guided her deeper into the ship, the weight of her new reality settled in. First contact had occurred in ways no one on Earth could have anticipated. The future for her, for humanity, stretched before her, filled with limitless possibilities. For science, she murmured, a flush sweeping over her. For humanity. This has been NSFW, an amazing sci-fi story. Thank you for listening.